Hey guys, I got a new one for you. This is actually going to be a long video, so I'm going to try and break this up into multiple parts if possible. Uh, I'm going to start with the unboxing, but this is the Dream Quest Mini PC. This is the N95 Performance Mini PC, and it's got 16 gigs of memory and some other stuff, you know, that perked my interest. You know, my laptop is really old. I've been looking actually into getting one of these. And uh, yeah, so I figured I would give it a try and see what happens. This was, I think, $200-ish range. Um, so I'm not expecting too much out of it, but I am expecting it to do my workload. So the video that you're going to see here is going to be your unboxing. And then I'm going to follow it up with actual footage on screen of what it does because obviously this has to update it's got windows 11 i think it says on the back here um yeah i don't know if this means anything to anyone it's got uh, it's called the dream quest office so hopefully it'll handle some of my workload you know anywhere from the text documents and like that i expect it to do with no problems um, but I do do a lot of, um, art stuff. So I do graphic design and things like that. So I want to see if it can handle my graphic design software. Um, what else can, am I going to test on this thing? I'm also going to do some emulation cause I love playing games. So I'm going to check out that, but I'm also going to be able to do, uh, some remote access to see if it can do, you know, some quick work stuff, you know, that way that I can log into the office from here, things like that. Um, but I do plan to film, you know, me hooking you know using it so we'll see how that goes but again this is going to be your unboxing and then i will follow it up with you know tests and stuff and so that way at least you know what's going on all right so anyways so as you know this is the dream quest uh intel n95 so i'm going to try and open this up here again i just received this so I have no idea what's in the box other than the computer itself and hopefully a power cable. I know that this has three HDMIs so that I can do three individual screens to make one giant screen if I want. So I'm just going to get rid of that out of the way. Here we go. Let's, without further ado, let's try and get this out of here. Oh, I hate slide boxes. They're always so much friction. There we go. All right, so we have a box lid. That's not very helpful. On the right here, we have a box that has a cable in it. So let's see what's inside. We have an HDMI cable. Kind of short, but okay. And we have our power brick. That's the side here. What else we got in here? It comes with a little screwdriver and some type of mounting bracket. Okay, anything else in there? Nope. Okay, so that is it for the accessory box. So now we're going to go and reveal the actual computer itself. This is what I'm looking forward to. So we have a user manual. Here, let me get this back on screen here. Got a new camera rig, so, you know, still working on the camera angles. So anyways, we have a user manual, which shows, you know, what each port does, the SATA system, the B, you know, because you can also add another hard drive to this to expand the, you know. Okay, so we'll come to the back here. You can see the DreamQuest Office N95, 16 gigabyte ROM with a 512 gigabyte hard drive inside of here. This is, I believe, an SSD. Ooh, all right, it's got a little rubbery feet, so it does grip. That's cool. All right, nothing else in the box. So we're going to put that off to the side now. We're going to look at the actual unit. So we have, you know, a little warning that when we first hook this up, it's going to run and do its updates and things like that. And you really don't want to mess with it when it's doing that. So you just kind of let it do its thing, which is why this video is going to be broken up into parts. Um... I do plan to, like I said, do a quick test to add to this video. So there's something at the end of it. You'll see, you know, what's going on. Um, all right. So let's go look at the ports on the back. So we have our headphone port here, which means we can either use headphones or in my case, I'm going to hook up my speakers to this. I have my subwoofer over here that runs through the headphone port. Um, I believe this unit also has Bluetooth and things like that, but we'll look into that later. Uh, your power port is here for the power brick. 
So that's this piece right here. Yeah, just plug that in. We have two Ethernet ports, which this actually divides your network. So you can have one dedicated internet, and then you can hook like printers and things up to this one, and it'll actually network it into the system so that you know you can have access to it from other computers and things like that. These are your three HDMIs for your screen. So each one is an individual screen output. So you can have three computer screens hooked up to this and then set it all as one. And it'll just be one giant screen, which I think is really cool. On the side here, we have our TF chip, which is close to the vents. So I don't know if I would leave a chip in there, but you know, all in all, you know, still we've got a little cooling system here. You have four USB 3.0s, I believe they are, judging by the colors so you have three of these which is good um, there is a protective covering up here this is an aluminum chassis at least that's what it feels like to me or like some type of uh yeah it feels kind of like an aluminum thing the bottom is a plastic tray the top has like this weird i almost want to say glassy kind of sound so i don't know uh whatever it's Clear and nice. I'm not going to peel the protective thing off of here only because, you know, this thing is going to accumulate fingerprints with me moving it around and things like that. So I'd rather not schmeg it all up. <laughs> so anyways, um, so that's what you get. You have your computer, you have your power brick, an HDMI, a mounting bracket, because again, you can unscrew the feet here, remove this panel, you can put another hard drive in here, and that will expand the storage out. So they do give you the tools to do it, which is good because a lot of companies are like, that voids the warranty. And this at least allows you to do it. So uh, all in all, that's the first impressions we have right now. So I'm going to kind of zoom over here, turn this a little bit so you can see the whole thing. So we have our computer, which is roughly five and a half inches by five and a half inches and sits proud of one and a half inches it's like you know with the feet it elevates it up so i'm thinking maybe the intakes are on the bottom and that it exhausts out the side which is what this would look like so we'll see since you know we'll get there Alrighty, so the next uh, part of this you'll see is it running now i'm going to go through the hours of updates so See you in the next part. Enjoy, guys. All right, so I have my HDMI uh, cable plugged in, power plugged in, keyboard and mouse plugged in here. We're going to see what happens. This is a first boot off the bat. You know, hasn't been touched yet. So we're going to see what happens here on screen. So here we go. Push the button. Oh, that's cool. It's got little lights to come across the grid here. That's neat. And on screen, there we go. You can see we have Windows booting. So that's cool. And I have the manual here, which basically just tells you push buttons and wait. So I guess it's kind of idiot proof. <laughs> um, so yeah, now we're just gonna let this thing boot up and see what happens. I thought the lights were pretty cool. So that's pretty neat. I don't see any other logos or anything like that, unless it's hidden underneath the sticker, which I don't see. So, all right. Well, this is going to take five to ten minutes to boot, so I'm not going to bore you with it. But I just figured I would show you the first boot, what it looks like. Alrighty, guys. Back in a bit. Okay, guys. So, whoops, my microphone's not in front of me. All right, so we are over at the computer screen now. This is uh, Specky. It's a quick little summary software of what your computer has in it so as you can see the basic setup here is this is windows 11 64 bit it's got an intel processor and i can get more information by clicking these so we'll get into that in a bit uh, we have the ram the motherboard number what in it's got a onboard graphics card of an intel which isn't terrible and this thing so far has been running pretty smooth i haven't had any problems with anything that i've installed on here so far um, I haven't finished the 
PlayStation 2 emulator. I want to see if it can handle that because a lot of the computers can't. So I'm curious if that'll go through. I just have to get the BIOS set up and then that'll be off to the races. I am using OBS software, as you can see up here in the corner, to record everything you hear. Now I try to configure this the same way my other system is. So the microphone audio should sound theoretically like my tutorials and stuff like that. So the audio shouldn't be that bad. Anywho, so we also have a 512 gigabyte SATA in here with my thumb drive that has a couple little side loading apps on it that I can um, run like spe like running this. This is not actually installed on the computer. It's on my thumb drive. So it'll tell me, you know, this is what's on my thumb drive. There is no optical drive, so there's no CD-ROMs or anything like that, which I do have an external I can hook up to this later on. Um, I did notice that four ports on this thing for USB might be actually not enough for me, so I might have to get a hub or plug one of my other hubs into this because I've already filled it up with my microphone, my keyboard, my mouse, and my thumb drive. So yeah, anyways. All right, so we can go in here and check out the CPU specs. This is a four core processor. It is the Intel N95. So you can actually look up the stats on that. It's it's a pretty basic model. It's, it's enough to do what I want it to do, I think. I mean, so far, like I said, this thing's been running smooth as a pie for me when I you know, installed my stuff and tested it out. Uh, we have a Windows 11 Pro system in here. We have all my information here. Uh, RAM, we have 16 gigs, as you can see up in here. So this is our usage right now. So we're using 24%, you know, of that. Uh, let's see if I can go here and bring up my task manager. Uh, this is Windows 11, so I got to remember how to change the yeah here we go all right so i can see you know i'm just using my memory and cpu the disk drive is pretty much flatlined because this thing is silent it's running you know pretty flawlessly i mean i didn't expect this because you know there's no real parts to it so i don't know i'm going to run a couple things and we'll see what uh, happens but anyways so we have you know our basic information here um we can go here to the graphics card and we'll see what it's built in as it's hooked up to my tv right now so this current resolution is 1360 by 768 so it's reading no problem i am full screen i did not have to modify anything it knew instantly what i was using so that's pretty good uh storage wise you know it's you know well it's a sata 3 you know this run a couple tests on here and I'm like, eh, it's, it's a drive. It works. <laughs> you know, I'm not looking for anything spectacular. So, um, yeah. So let's see. Uh, we're still running pretty smooth. So now what I'm going to do is come over here to, okay. I installed it, but I don't know where they installed to. Okay. I'm going to have to pause and be right back. All right, so I started running Inkscape here. This is uh, a fresh install, so it did take a little bit to load up. You can still see I haven't really spiked very much in the stats here. So we're doing all right. Um, I can come over here. Let's, let's just, yeah. Use a circle. You can select that and, you know, I actually make that one and that one. I can hold down shift, select the two of these, and then I can remove all of it. It seems to be running pretty smooth on that. You know, I can, uh, let's see, import. It's, it loads pretty quick on that end. All right, so let's fully shut out of it. Let's close without saving because I don't need it. For some reason, it didn't give me a shortcut to my desktop. I don't know. I'll have to figure that one out. Anyways, let's see how long it takes. So, all right. So you saw how quick that loaded from start to end here. So it does take a second to get into here, but hey, no problems otherwise. So, so far, so good on that one. Uh, so I can do my artwork and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, what other testing did I want to do? I wanted to do the PlayStation, which I still have to configure, so I'll come back for that one. 
And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I really wanted to show here. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to give you a good, you know, look at this and check this out and see. Uh, let's see. Here's Inkscape Portable. Let's see. Yeah, I pretty much installed everything I wanted to install onto there. All right, so we'll close out of there. Um, yeah, the uh, next test will be when I do the PlayStation and we'll check the numbers and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, till then I will stop babbling and uh, I will talk to you again in a bit. Alrighty, enjoy. All right, so we're going to do a quick little game test here. This is the PlayStation 2. Now, I muted the game audio, at least hopefully I muted the game audio. So we have the PS2 running right now. And uh, as you can see here, it's very CPU loving. So, uh, yeah, plus I'm also running OBS. So I'm not surprised that it's running like this, but it's running very, very smooth. I'm going to grab my controller over here. We're going to hit continue. Memory cards. Yes. And uh, we're going to get into the game. And we'll give this a go and we'll see. I adjusted my microphone settings a little bit too. So if there is any alterations to the sound of, um, you know, between videos, it's because I keep tweaking things since, you know, I forgot what I had for, um, you know, my actual settings. So I can hear the music. I don't know if you guys can. So hopefully you can't and that I can, you know, just play and Okay, so I can run around. I got the music in my ears. <laughs> so all right, so this is should be a good enough test here. I'm just going to try and get inside. And then um, see how it does on transitions. So, so far, so good. How are we doing on CPU? 93% CPU. I'm going to try and split screen this a little bit. So we can actually watch the CPU changing. And I mean, I have the stats up here too, so... Seriously, did I come all the way here for just a health pot? <laughs> uh, whatever. All right, so you guys get the idea. And you can see the CPU going and all that jazz and the memory usage. It's actually not bad. It's keeping it down. I mean, I'm playing at 100% speed, so it's not like it's been dragged down really. So, um, yeah. We'll do another little transition here. Uh, let's go this way. We got a fight. Ow. So, yeah. All right. You get the idea. You can't see any real spiking that's, you know, going to be terrible here. As for heat coming off of this unit, yeah, I'd, I'd suggest putting a fan underneath it. It's one of those mini computer fans that you can get. You know, just lay it underneath. I actually have a USB charged one. Ooh Not too bad. But I'm going to leave it here, I think. Um, so you get the idea. I'm not even going to save because, you know, why bother? All right, so I'm going to close that out. You can see as soon as I close out, GP starts chilling out, memory starts chilling out. So, uh, yeah. So far, so good. It's pretty much handled... My art stuff, it's handled gaming. I wouldn't want to go past PlayStation 2 quality of gaming systems, so I wouldn't try a PS3 on here. 
Um, but otherwise, everything seems to be good. I hope this helps somebody out. And um, yeah, we'll chat soon. Enjoy, guys.